the most important thing for us in the jazz department are the students themselves and helping them to realise their musical goals. And we try to do that by creating a balance that focuses on the core skills of the tradition and improvisation, instrumental technique and all the things that really define you as a jazz musician. But with jazz being such a broad art form, we need to leave enough space in there for the students to pursue their own goals and figure out what it is they want to do as musicians themselves. We all write music and more importantly we all write music which we all play. I think the peer-to-peer -peer learning is really important. So they learn a lot from hearing their pieces played regularly and they hear a lot of their music played by their peers. Because it's quite a small number of people within the department it results in the community being really close-knit, not just with students but with staff, meaning that in every project you get put in, whether it's within your year or outside of your year, you're forging musical connections with absolutely superb musicians. The staff that work here, we're all out in the uh, industry and there's a great tradition. The staff that are in the industry but um, then take on students and become colleagues. Everyone has a relationship with Nick, everyone has a relationship with Pete and Nicky and it means that you can kind of get the course almost tailor-made to what you need to work on. We try and provide as many opportunities playing wise both within the curriculum and, and a lot of really interesting stuff is occurring in this building extracurricular as they explore the other kinds of music that's around. There's a lot of collaboration with the many amazing departments here and lots of projects bubbling up. There's the option of electives. If you're a jazz singer and you want to learn conducting, that's possible. We have many amazing artists visiting from around the world and you get to play with these great musicians. The part which have really been exciting for me have been last classes with Dave Holland, um, Craig Table and Walter Smith and they've just been a really great opportunity to hear these masters play and hear what they think and sort of get some feedback if you get to play with them. I've been part of big band projects with Nicky Isles. I was able to play at Ronnie's with the Bill Lawrence Big Band as part of the Jazzwise Festival and most recently the Julian Siegel Big Band. It's just the kind of experience that I would never have dreamed of having before coming here. The other really exciting part has been the ensemble concerts. I've had the opportunity to play with Stan Saltzman, um, Nathaniel Facey, uh, Byron Wallen, play their music, see what they think, see what they feel you need to add to the music. Graduates from the jazz department really can be found across the whole range of the music profession, from jazz solo artists leading their own projects, to studio musicians, to songwriters or pop artists people orchestrating for large commercial events or pop acts. In terms of preparing me for life beyond college, having to work in different parts of the industry, whether that's academic, compositional, performance, you get practice at kind of juggling all these different parts of your career while in an environment where there are loads of people around to support you while you learn how to do that. The idea is that the curriculum is there for those people that need curriculum, but as soon as possible you find that they get their own momentum and it leads them to really interesting places, places that we can't even imagine. I think that's the key to its success, to encourage a, a crucible of activity and then wait to see what happens.